All right, so we are almost there now. And there's one more thing I want to show you, and that is Scroll Spy. So at the minute, when we click on these things right here, currently it doesn't do anything. We want it to take you to the different sections down here on the page. Now we can do that pretty simply without using Scroll Spy, and it's automatically gonna jump to those sections, but I like it to be a little smoother where it scrolls to the section. That's what Scroll Spy is all about. But first of all, let's add on the targets to these anchor tags so it does just jump you to those sections. So if we go back up to the navigation right up here, here where it says photos, let's take that to the photos ID. Then when it says services, that's going to go to the services ID. And finally, this to the contact ID. So those IDs right there, they were the IDs that we've been given to the different sections. You can see photos here, maybe this should just be photos like that. And then down here we have services and then down here we have contact. All right, so if we now click on one of these links, then it should take us to those sections. But let's try this out. So photos takes us there, cool. Services, yep, takes us there. And then finally contact takes us to the bottom. But like I said, it would be nice that this scrolls down when you click on something instead of just jumping automatically. So let's do that. Now to do that is very simple indeed. All we have to do is go down to our different sections down here and just add on a scroll spy class like so to all of these different sections that we're linking to. So scroll spy again. And if we go down, scroll spy like so at the bottom. Now that's not gonna automatically work. We need to initialize this in the jQuery at the bottom. So we'll say, dollar sign and we want to get our scroll spy classes that we've just added to those sections and then we want to use a method on those called dun 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 scroll spy all right so if we save that cross your fingers and hopefully this will work so if i go to contact okay that didn't work let's refresh <laughs> and see if this works this time around contact no it still doesn't work and that's because i think Yep, this thing right here, this is actually scroll spy with a capital S. So a little bit confusing and it's easy to trip up. But now let's give this a whirl and go to the top. If we say contact, it's going to scroll down to contact. That's nicer. And if we go to services, it's going to scroll. And finally, if we go to photos, it's going to scroll there. Awesome. So there we go, my friends. That is our website pretty much complete, fully responsive and we've barely had to add any CSS ourselves. All this is mainly classes from Materialize and a bit of JavaScript initialization. And this was so much easier than making a website like this from scratch. I mean, it would probably take you four or five times as long to do that, writing all your own CSS and all your own JavaScript. So I think this is really cool for mocking up websites really quickly and then if you want to just add on your own css here and there like we have done at the top just four or five rules in our case so anyway guys that is this series pretty much complete if you do enjoy the videos my friends please don't forget to share subscribe and like them and i'm going to see you in the very next series